All new tonight at 6 o'clock, one solution Fulton County is considering is to address the concerns that the jail is using wristbands to monitor vital signs and alert staff if an inmate is in crisis. Well, the program was supposed to start three months ago, but as the Eliminalized Boat Beth Yates discovered, it never happened. And tonight she's holding the powerful accountable to find out why. This is the emergency contract signed by Fulton County with the wristband monitoring company Teletrex in April. It states the system was supposed to be installed and running within 10 weeks, but that deadline came and went in July and the system still is not up and running. In April, after details surrounding the investigation into an inmate who died amid an insect infestation in his cell were released, Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labatt went to the Fulton County Commission to discuss how the Teletrex system could help monitor inmates' health using a device similar to a smartwatch that tracks inmates' vitals and alerts staff if someone is in trouble. But it is that emergent need that brings me before you now because if we don't do something, people will continue to die at the Fulton County Jail and I need your help curtailing that. Commissioners approved the plan that day with nearly $2 million in emergency funding. According to a copy of the contract that 11 Alive obtained, the funds would pay for 1,000 watches for Wright Street inmates, as well as the installation of the system, which should have been live within 10 weeks. We authorized an excess of $2 million for this purpose, and I have seen nothing that we've gotten in return for that expenditure. 11 Alive started inquiring about the system again in August after another inmate reportedly passed away from cardiac arrest. The sheriff's office did not answer our questions about whether the contract terms were met. So we turned to County Commission Chair Rob Pitts for answers. I don't know where the project is. That's the whole problem. I don't know where it is. Again, I didn't support it. Uh, my conscience is clear. Someone needs to come forward and tell us, you know, what's happened with the $2 million plus dollars that we spent to buy these bracelets. Teletrex CEO Justin Hawkins confirmed that 15 devices are being used at the Fulton County Jail Annex in Alpharetta. But according to the contract, the emergency funding was specifically allocated for devices to be used at the Rice Street Jail. And according to Teletrex, the system is not up and running at Rice Street. The entire situation is frustrating because people are, you know, are passing away. Hawkins tells Eleven Alive they are diligently working to get the system online, but encountered unforeseen delays due to the jail infrastructure and staffing concerns. Unbelievable staffing shortage. And obviously, you know, they have a lot of violence that, that goes on currently. And so really it was relocating inmates so that our infrastructure team could go in there and fix the conduit and the wiring and, and, and really deploy the infrastructure that was paid for. But Hawkins says they're now in the stage where they are ready to begin monitoring 50 to 75 inmates. We're going to be up and running on Monday. It's, it's you know, better late than never. When it's all said and done, about 400 inmates in the medical and psych ward at Rice Street Jail will be monitored by the system. Now, we're going to continue to follow this and tell you if Monday they actually keep their word with the first group of inmates going live on the program. Setting it back to you.